Hi everyone, welcome back to our new session of the UiPath. In this session, I will explain you how to integrate UiPath account with our Gendesk account. So, Gendesk is a basically a support tool used in various organizations which will help the team to get their work done with different teams like IT team or other teams. If you don't know about how to create a free or Gendesk account, so please watch my how to create free account in Gendesk. I will definitely mention the URL in description tab so that you can create your Gendesk account very easily. So today I will show you how to integrate both the application, what all components will require for integration process so if you are new to this channel consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for latest updates let's begin with this so for integration we will need first thing gendes account should be created and then we will need some packages for integration process so for installing the packages, just go to manage packages, inside the manage packages, search Gendesk. There are several Gendesk application is available or packages are available, but you can select uapart.team.gendesk activity, which is created by Rishwi and Negloski. Select and install this application in your system so that you are able to get required activity in your system. Let me install this. After installation, you are able to see uipart.team.gendesk activity. Go to the activities panel and click on uipart team and you are able to see Several activities are available inside the Gendesk application. For using this activity, we need to drag and drop Gendesk application scope and provide or create a valid connection. For creating a valid connection, we will need several details like authentication client, password, token API and username as well. So let's go to our Gendesk account and see how we can get these details. Click on settings, our admin and go to API. So once you click on the API, you have to create one active or API token. Before that, you need to provide password access or enable the password access and token access both. Then you have to click on the plus icon. Once you click on the plus icon, you need to provide your API token description. UI path test. Copy this API token and save this. Now enter your API token here. Click on OK. Once you enter the API token, you have to enter your username, password, and the main point is endpoint. Let's copy and paste the endpoint from here. So for getting an endpoint, you can copy and paste it to until dot com then then let me enter my username and password boot because once I will click it will ask for the username and password boot let me stop my recording after entering all the details let me click on Test connection. So once I will enter all the details like username, password, and token API, 
and click on test connection i'm successfully established the connection of ui path in gendus click on continue you can also provide an o authentication client as well for o authentication client it will directly connect with your system if you want to create just click on this and you can enter the detail so here you can get redirect url and your o authentication detail as well so once you click on this it will generate a o authentication pin for you and you can use it for your connection let's recap this we have started with gendus application where we have created one application for our configuration purpose or connection with this string for connecting ui path with gendus account we will need first prerequisites is gendus login credential then we need to install then gendus packages then we have to configure password token api and username in our system so that we can successfully establish the connection between ui path and then gendus so this is all about configuration or you can say that integration of ui path in gendus hope you like it if you really enjoyed this video consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you